How you doing? This is Melvin Brown. Welcome back to the Melvin Brown Experience. Today is not going to be a story time, but today is going to be another topic. And today's topic, we're going to talk about this. What should you do when you finally start seeing movement with your love spell? This is a very interesting topic because I wrote this probably within like two years ago. I was going to come out with it, but I said, you know what, I'm going to hold it. And I finally decided to come out with it. Now, I believe this happened on a Tuesday. My client out of nowhere called me freaking out. Yo, Melvin. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? He was like, yo, what this mean? His voice was mad shaky. I never heard him like that because he's more of a laid back type of guy. And the text message was like, as I packed to return home, I found the picture for us. And I just wanted to say thank you for being a part of my life. And I'm sorry for not understanding you. I hope as well and you continue to be great. I know you have a birthday coming up, so don't be overthinking your life. You are doing great and continue to do great in life. And it also says, sorry, I'm reading it right now. Um... So she said, I just need you to know I'm truly sorry for letting you down and I always love you. So he was like, Melvin, what the fuck does that mean? First of all, that woman didn't talk to you within, let me see, last Thanksgiving. We are now in May. And he was still like, Melvin, what does that mean? What does that mean? She don't want to talk to me no more. I'm like, bro, if she reaching out to you, saying that shit and saying she always love you, can you read between the lines? He's like, no, I don't know what it mean. Bro, she basically saying, hey, I ain't forget about you. Give me a call. I miss you. I miss you. He said, how you, how you can tell? I'm like, bro, I've been doing love work for years. So I know what hits and what don't. Bro, what you need to do? Don't call her the next day. Don't call her the day after that. Give her three days. So I'll take that back. That message was, on, I think that shit was on a fucking Tuesday. He texted her on a Thursday, I think, on a Thursday, and they wind up being on the phone for hours. And then they about to meet up and everything. And he was like, Melvin, how should I act? And I told him, bro, be yourself, be cool. Don't be too lovey and too mushy. Because at the end of the day, your target don't even know the reason why they're coming back. They just think that they love you and they really want to work things out. So I came up with this topic like what to do when you start seeing manifestations or some type of movement so the first thing you want to do when your target come back to you you got to act a little laid back a little mellow you can't be too like oh my god I miss you i couldn't stop thinking about you no i'll be like what's the updates how you been like you gotta be mellow like you can't just engage engage you mind you your target broke up with you you did not break up with them so you have the power and while that spell hitting them you're going to lure them in number two do not text your lover or your target every single day about bullshit mind you this is reconciliation reconciliation is not about like okay i'll take you back with open arms no it's slow pace and study you must understand with love work we are creating or reuniting the attraction you're going to have to pull your target in to have that same energy that they once had for you number three you're going to have to have tough skin and what i mean by tough skin you're going to have to be tough emotionally now, with love work, it's never an easy situation. Sometimes with love work, it's like you board a car from a Houthi and try to start the engine. It's going to take time. And it's, what I mean by that is going to be ups and downs. Let me give you an example. Now, when you and your target broke up, don't think that they needed time to think because they told you they needed time to think most of your targets was cowards and suckers 
because they did not want to tell you the truth what was really going on and what i mean by that don't be surprised that they broke up with you for somebody else so when they come back to you and they be like yeah man you know i got a new boyfriend i got a new girlfriend and everything they get on my nerves don't get in your feelings like yo so fuck you what the fuck you call me for about that that's your problem you gotta be on some shit like wow that's crazy tell me more and then you can go to your spiritual worker and your spiritual worker can tell you what's the next move what to do because you gotta understand when you put love work in the air it's going to cause chaos in your target life meaning that if they got somebody else when that love work in the air it's going to be nothing but chaos and the only time the chaos is going to stop when they come back to you so you can't get in your feelings and everything when you say stuff like this because you need to know some information so you can tell your spiritual worker so there can be another ritual to bring them close so when they start telling you about they love life or how they love not life not going well and everything just sit there and be quiet don't get rude and ignorant and cuss them out and getting your feelings and crying. The goal is you're trying to catch the bee, not the bees, the bee with the honey. You don't want to put vinegar in the air because the bee is not going to come towards it. So don't be overly emotional. That can fuck up the work. Another thing what I want to tell y'all is like yo when you start seeing movement and manifestations and everything the thing you gotta focus on like this is what you gotta focus on getting your target working things out make up and live your life if it wasn't meant to be oh well at least you got your closure another thing i want to say when you start seeing movement like when your target call you and everything don't force them to take you back on a spot you're going to look fucking desperate you gotta understand when your target broke up with you they saw a weakness and you being desperate and too clingy and held in a space is not only going to push the target away but it's going to fuck up the work you gotta understand this is magic this is magic with logic it's just simple if you put magic and logic together there's a possibility they can this can be the best spell so don't force your target to come back asap they are already going to come back you're just going to have to work things out and be smooth like let me give you an example it was this one person i did a reading on and i told him i said yo your target going to come back but you're going to get fucking discouraged she said why am i going to get discouraged i'm like bro the spiritual worker that you're working with did a great job with the work but it got to build up. He said, what you mean? Let me tell you, you did all this crazy shit to your target. Now she don't have trust. You're going to have to rebuild that trust and don't get frustrated with her. Just fall back, chill and just meditate. What wind up happening with this man? Not only he get to see his target, they was intimate for the whole week and now they basically back together. So one step at a time, because he played it real cool. Like it was a chess game to, to win her heart. And that's what he did. Another thing I want to tell y'all, do not, when your target come back, do not stalk them. Do not stalk them. If you do this, this can disrespect your target and more so disrespect your spiritual worker now you're stalking your target after y'all in the move to reconcile you're, you're disrespecting your target because your target broke up probably broke up with you because you so compulsive and you stalking them you don't have no trust and they're gonna feel disrespected you like you know what i'm gonna walk away it's going to disrespect the spiritual worker because the spiritual worker probably pumped out so much shit in the air, it's not even fucking funny. The spiritual worker tell you point A and point B to how to maneuver with the magic that's in the air. 
you doing the opposite because you're narcissistic, egotistical, and self-entitled, you think you got the whole playbook. And next thing you know, you do this shit and do this shit. The spiritual worker telling you to do A, B, C, D. You're doing one, two, three, four. What's going to wind up happening, the spiritual worker not going to do nothing. Whatever that spirit, that spiritual worker pumping the air is going to look at you and say, you know what? I had enough of this shit. Then next thing you know, you lose your job. You lose this. You lose that. Your target don't want nothing to do with you. And what's going to be super crazy, your target move on, don't want nothing to do with you. And somehow, some way, you get the fucking news that your target got somebody else pregnant, deeply in love with somebody else, and basically living their life. Same thing with the men. You find out your target got pregnant by somebody else, is in love with somebody else, and next thing you know, they about to get married, and you're fucking sitting there shit-faced like, oh my God, oh my God. All you had to do is listen to your spiritual worker. That's all you had to fucking do. The spiritual worker just put it in the air. If the spirit sees some type of form of disrespect, they're going to take care of it. One thing about spirits, spirits require respect. I don't care they demons. I don't care, etc. Respect is key. That's why listening to your spiritual worker why you doing spiritual work is very important. Let me give you an example. I remember it was this one person. This is happening about probably a few years ago. I told this person, yo, work with me and only work with me. You got too many chefs in the kitchen that's going to fuck up the perfect meal. This person did not listen. He went to all these other spiritual workers. And now his target moved to a different country with a man. And now he want me to help him. And I said, there's nothing I can do. Listen to your spiritual worker. This is Melvin Brown. This is the Melvin Brown Experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, email me, find me on Instagram, DM me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. I am out.